live. Um, changing story sizes. So when I started this process, process as a, to do this um, YouTube series of 5 a.m. Master Scrum, I thought I was going to record the video and then I was going to process it through my processing software. Then I was going to post it up on YouTube and some other channels like that that make it happen. But when I first did it in the first episode, I did that. And it took me a half hour to process the 15 minutes. Or actually, it was eight minutes. It took a half hour. It took an hour to process like 15 minutes worth of content. And I quickly realized that that's not going to work. And not only that, is after I processed it on my laptop, I had to process it through YouTube. And that took some more time. And I wanted to get the material out on the street before I went to work or go work out and do all that kind of stuff. So what I had to end up doing was then going to live. Now, when I went to live, it changed it, right? It's instantly there. The content's there. It's saved up there. It's promoted everybody. And I didn't do all that extra work. But if I were to say point it at a size three, but now because I at first it was a size three because I'd never done it before. But now I, I, I'm doing it now. It takes live. It's out there. The content's in use for the customer. All I do is change the thumbnail. It's pretty instant. And one of the things I also did was the thumbnail as I do in Photoshop and I edit it and change the picture and change the words a little bit. But what used to take me a half hour and it takes me five minutes. So a process that, that could have taken me an hour and a half to get through now takes me all but five minutes because all I do is change the thumbnail and put the topics in. So five, 10 minutes per se. So I was able to cut the same story, the same value down to smaller chunks and and change how i was going to do it and that's what you call incremental improvement to get the same value out so what i want to say is that what used to be a three-point story is now a one-point story however it has the same business value so over time as i tell people when you first do things add a point or two when it's all risky you know boost it up because you don't know what you're doing but as you get to do it and you do it every day, you can lower those points down because it's something you do every day and you made it more efficient. Now, there's other things I'll learn, but those will be extra stories in the end. So I just wanted to share that how changing story size over time where the story is not always a three point story all the time. You know, it's based on complexity, risk, unknowns, knowns, processes, how often you do it is a simpler and how you refine that process. Hopefully you'll get your three point stories down to one point stories. Man, you are live. Hi guys, this is Greg. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Just coming here from DC.